Good morning, my dear students. I hope you all are fine and enjoying your online classes. See, children, today we are going to start a new chapter, Chapter 5, Microsoft Word 2010 Formatting. So, before starting this chapter, let me ask few questions from you. My first question is, what is Microsoft Word? I know children that this term is not new for you all. Okay, so Microsoft Word is a word processing software developed by Microsoft. Now, my next question is, what are the uses of Microsoft Word? Microsoft Word is used to create, edit, and save your documents like letters, reports, etc. Okay, children. So now, in this chapter, we are going to learn three topics. First is character formatting. Second is text formatting using dialog box. And third one is paragraph formatting. So, let us start from the first topic, character formatting. But you all should know what is formatting. So, children, formatting is a general arrangement of the text to make the document attractive and presentable. Okay, children? See, in the first topic, character formatting, I am going to explain you how to change the font type, how to change the font size, how to change the font style, how to change the font color and text highlighting. Okay, children? So, for explaining these terms, let me open one word file. So here is your word file with some written text. See children, first for changing the font type, just select the text with the help of mouse or with the help of keyboard. Then click the font list. Okay. Then the list shows, just see the list shows the various fonts. Okay, children? So just click the desired font style to apply on the selected text. But remember, children, the default font type used for typing in Word document is Calibri font. Okay, children? So just see here, like this. Okay? Now, the second one is font size. See children, the normal text in Word document appears in 11 font size. Okay, but if you want to increase or decrease the character size, what you will do again, just select the text and click from here. Just see it is written font size. Okay, just click here. In this way, you can change the font size. Just see. On the screen okay understood now see children third one is font style see children to highlight a specific text like some heading or title okay you can Add some special font effects on the text. Just see, look here children. Just, here is the heading. Just select this heading. Okay. Now, apply the style from the following options. See, there are three options given in the font group. Bold, italic, underline. Okay. So, just click on bold. If you want to change the font to bold, 
italic if you want to change the font to italic and click on italic then underline if you want to underline the text okay children see children if you are using a keyboard then for bold you will press control plus b from the keyboard for italic control plus i and for underlining the text, selected text control plus u okay children so i hope till here it is clear okay then font color see children text appears by default in black color only but if you want to change this color to any other suitable one then just select the text and click on font color from here see in this way you can change the color of the text okay children and if you want to highlight the text then again select the text then click here in this way you can highlight your text okay children i hope this topic is clear now children the second topic is text formatting using font dialog box so here what you will do just select the text okay which is to be formatted now click the dialog box launcher just see here in the lower right corner of font group so here is the font group and here is the dialog box launcher just click here okay this is a font dialog box okay now from here you can use various font settings okay as per your needs and then click on ok button okay children now the last topic is paragraph formatting see children in paragraph formatting we will be learning about text alignment in today's class okay so what is the meaning of alignment see children text alignment means that it is the way to place the text between the left and right margins of the page okay and microsoft word allows us four types of alignment so just see here in the paragraph group okay click the required alignment option in the paragraph group on the home tab so here is the home tab and here is the paragraph okay group so you can see children there are four types of alignments left center right and this is justify okay so just see first select like the paragraph then just see left alignment center right and then justify so i hope children that all these three topics are clear to you now The next topic we will discuss in the next class. Thank you and God bless you.